Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jessica. Today we're gonna to be talking all about Quince. It's one of my current favorite clothing brands just for being such an incredible resource for finding awesome, well-made staple pieces for your wardrobe that you're gonna have for so long at such crazy prices, I can't even believe it. I've got some awesome new in from Quince for the spring and summer. These pieces will be so great to mix and match with so many different things for endless outfits. You also wanna stick to the end because I'm gonna be reviewing their luggage that they sent me. This is my first piece of Quince luggage. Why are we spending so much money on suitcases these days? At Quince, you don't have to. If you're interested in anything that you see today, you can head down to the description box where I'll have everything linked. But Quince is also part of the YouTube shopping program, so you will see the items from Quince pop up in the corner of the video. I believe, I think it might be this one. Anyway, click there and you can shop directly from the video that way or you can do it the old school way and go down to the description box and hit the links. First piece is something that I've been wearing constantly since I pulled it out of the bag and it is this tensile jersey fit and flare dress. This thing is so comfortable. Y'all, when I put this fabric on my body, I was just like, <sighs> yes, please. It feels so soft. It's so stretchy. Honestly, like I am going to be living in this dress all spring and summer because it is so, so comfortable. It has pockets that are on the skirt that are cut into the side seam, so they don't really interfere with the shape of the skirt at all, which is really nice. They kind of lie really nice and flat and they don't really get in the way. So I love that. I mean, the other thing that I absolutely love about this is that it has this beautiful, just like wide neckline. I just, I love this like open chest, situation. It's so flattering. It's very feminine and the straps are nice and like thinner, a little bit more on the delicate side, but they're not so thin that you can't cover up your bra strap. And in fact, one of the things I really love most about this dress is the fact that the straps are just wide enough and they hit at just the right place to lay right over my bra so that it's not showing. I mean, even in the back, I think it looks pretty good actually. It has a nice little waistline that comes in um, right at your waist and then this midi skirt just flares in an A-line style out from your body. I got this in a small and I definitely would recommend taking your true size in this just because it does have a lot of stretch and I personally think that you do want it to fit a little bit more snug, especially on this top part. And then the, the bottom half, obviously it's loose and it's A-line so it's just gonna flow away but uh, it just moves so nicely. It's really lightweight. I'm absolutely loving it. One of the reviews said that they uh, have like multiple different versions of this dress from Everlane because Everlane makes a version of this dress that's like twice as expensive and they liked this version so much better. So Quince is just so great at that. They find things that people love from brands that are overpriced or expensive and then they find a way to make it themselves um, in a way that's so much more affordable just by cutting out the middlemen and all the you know different areas of the retail process that adds on to the price that you pay for your clothes. So I just think this is such a great everyday dress for the spring and summer. You could dress it up with some heels, you could dress it down, wear it with some sneakers, or and it could be worn in so many different occasions. So Okay, so another perfect summer outfit. Let's start with the top. So this is very similar to my previous Quince haul where I had that cross neck halter crop top. This is basically the same style shirt, but in a different neckline. So it's cropped, but with this one, obviously it's a one shoulder. I got this in a medium and just like the previous top that is the cross neck halter top, uh, I think that was the right way to go. This definitely does feel very like tight. Um, so I would suggest sizing up a size, even though I sized up, I still feel like it has the right amount of like, like compression that I want it to have. Um, I could wear this with a strapless bra, but because it's white, it is a little bit like iffy. It is thick, but it's not really thick enough in my opinion to wear it without a strapless bra underneath. But if you get a non-white color, I think you absolutely could just because it does have a lot of compression and a lot of support in this ribbed sort of fabric, which they call this Ottoman stitching. I don't really know exactly what that means, but it's sort of just this thick uh, sweater-like ribbed knit of the shirt. I just think this is such 
a flattering top. And again, it's going to be such a piece that will come in so clutch for so many outfits because you can wear it with shorts like how I have. You can wear it with jeans, with trousers, with skirts, and it just could be dressed in a casual way. And you could also definitely dress it up depending on the bottoms that you pair with it. So very versatile. And it comes in some other great neutral colors. I will probably have to go and pick up uh, some other colors in this just because I find this to be so comfortable and so flattering. By the way, I'm interrupting this video because I'm looking at my analytics on my channel and so many of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. And I think you should be subscribed. I mean, subscribing to a YouTube channel is free. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to so that you can get more awesome fashion content like this in the future. And if you love Instagram and or TikTok, you can find me over there. I'm Miss More Style as well. I'm Miss More Style on all the social media platforms. So if you head down to the description box, I'll have all of those different profiles linked. If you want to go find me on your other favorite platform and say hi. Now that we've subscribed, let's get back to the video. The next piece in this outfit is obviously the shorts. These are the stretch crepe pleated shorts and they have a nice little pleating in the front, some belt loops, and then the back where the waist is, is nice and stretchy. So you've definitely got a lot of, a lot of forgiveness there, which I love. I really like when trousers have that little bit of stretch in the back, just in case you might have had a burrito or something for lunch. You know. I read a bunch of the reviews and a lot of women suggested to size up a size in these shorts. So I got these in an eight. And I don't know if the eight is right for me. I think I probably could have done a six just because they feel so loose in the waist. And now having them and seeing how much stretch they have back there, I think a six would have done just perfectly for me. Um, the other reason why I size up in shorts a lot of times and why I sized up in these is because I want to make sure that my leg, my thighs have enough room in the fabric so that they're not too constricted, especially with tailored looking pleated shorts like this. You don't want your shorts to look like skin tight. You want them to be kind of loose and baggy and be able to move. Yeah, I think I might have to exchange these for a six just because they're just a little big, but I think these are such a classy pair of shorts. They come in this olive green color. They also come in a sort of ivory tone color and they come in black. And the price point of these is so good. They're literally, how much are these? They're $39. Like this is such a chic, like short style. Any of you who maybe are going on a European trip this summer, one of my tips for dressing on a vacation like that is to not wear denim shorts in Europe, just because Europeans are a lot more uh, chic and more elevated and a little bit more, they dress more nice. But I understand wanting to wear shorts in the summertime, but these are the perfect answer to that because you can still wear shorts, but they look a little bit more classic and more tailored and a little bit more put together. And I don't feel like you'll look as out of place in like Italy or France or someplace like that when you're wearing something like this rather than wearing jeans shorts. I just love the length of them, you know? Like I have some other tailored shorts that are a little bit longer than this and that's fine, but these are just the right length. They're the right length to be classy, but also the right length to be sassy. The other thing I love about these, the fabric is wrinkle resistant, so you know that you'll always be looking sharp. And take your regular size and these, no need to size up. I also love that you could wear these out during the day, super casual, but then at night you could throw on a blazer with them, maybe some heels and be a little bit more dressed up for the evening. And they're very, very versatile like that. Okay, I love these pants so much. I now own them in two colors. These are the Quince Ultra Stretch Pont or ponte straight leg pants. I'm really not sure which of those pronunciations is right because I hear mixed things. So let me know in the comments, but these are so comfortable. Like I said, I already have these in the black and I wear them constantly. They're like my go-to travel pants. I created a whole short about my go-to travel outfit, which is predominantly quince pieces. And these pants are it. If you're on a plane, if you're on a road trip, Either way, like just wearing these feels like a dream because they are so stretchy. The fabric again feels really nice and comfy and they are just so easy to wear all day long and be comfortable in whatever situation you are. I mean, if you work in an office and you want pants that kind of look like you're wearing straight leg trousers, but that feel like they're yoga pants, these are the pants for you because they honestly are so good. Like they look like just regular cigarette style pants, but I could work out in these. Like I could legitimately do squats and all kinds of things in these pants, no problem. And that is what I love so much about them. Now the black pair I have in just like the regular style, I got the navy pair with pockets. So there are two different versions of these. You can either get the ones where it kind of has like the fake pockets sewn into the front or the real ones. And I kind of wish I had the black ones with pockets because I always feel a little bit weird when I don't at least have 
front pockets. Fix that with these, but they're just very chic. They're a very dark navy, so they're almost black looking, but it's not like a very blue hued navy. They come in a bunch of different colors, some really good neutrals that will go with a lot of things. And the other thing that is great about them is they have like several different inseams. So you can get them in 26, 28, 30, or 32 inch inseam. I got these in a 30 inseam in a size medium. They hit me at just the right place. They just graze the top of my feet. And I got medium just because they do run a little bit on the small side. Again, they have a lot of stretch, but you don't want them to be so tight that they look like straight up yoga pants. They need to have a little bit of give. And that being said, I just, I feel like both pairs of these that I have, when I put them on, they just make my legs look so slim. Something about it. They just, they have a little bit of compression maybe. And it just, I just feel like my booty and my legs always look so, so good in these. And that's why I will probably continue to get them in more colors because I just am obsessed. No matter what the season is, bodysuits are always such a key piece in my wardrobe, whether they're serving as the base layer of my outfit in the winter or they're literally my top in the summer. And Quince makes this second skin square neck bodysuit. And y'all, again, like the first dress, the fabric of this feels like a freaking dream on your body. I feel so soft. I would say this is a fantastic dupe for the one that you can get from Skims for a lot more money, but at such a more reasonable price point, it's under $30, which is so great. And I just think this is such a great bodysuit because I love the just wide square neck neckline. And these, thra these straps are kind of nice and thin, but they're still supportive. And honestly, I'm wearing this without a bra and it is literally just fine. I feel like it has like a little bit of compression and support, though it's not like superly supportive, but I can get away with it. So any bodysuit that I can find that lets me get away with skipping wearing a bra in the summertime when it is so hot outside is A++ in my book. I hadn't got this in a small, although I read some of the reviews and I was kind of debating between a small and a medium based on my chest size, but I'm so glad I got a small because it does have so much stretch and it is like double lined. So I think having the smaller of the two sizes that I could wear really helps it give it a little bit more compression and support. Also, just for information, it is a thong style bodysuit, which is the only kind of bodysuit that I will buy. And it has a snap closure in the crotch, so it's very easy to you know, go to the bathroom, no problems. It feels like it is barely there. It is so comfy. Like if you haven't gotten into any of Quince's European linen pieces, you're seriously missing out. I have quite a few from last summer. And so I saw this beautiful shirt dress and knew I needed to have it. I love a good shirt dress. They're just, they're so easy to wear. You just throw them on and they're chic, they're classic and this one in particular, I find to be so flattering. So this is a 100% European flax linen dress and has these short sleeves with a V-neck with a notched collar and then these buttons that go all the way down. And it is a midi length dress. I'm 5'7 and it hits me pretty much mid calf. It also comes with a little tie so you can tie the sash around your waist, really bring the dress in and make it a little bit more flattering. It's gonna be so perfect for the summertime because I don't know if you know this, but linen is such a perfect year round fabric, not just for summer, but it's extremely breathable, it's moisture wicking, and it's also temperature regulating, which is great. Especially if you live somewhere hot, opting for linen pieces you'll find will keep you cooler. I also love that it has pockets. A dress with pockets, quickest way to my heart for sure. This comes in a ton of different colors. The color is called Martini Olive. I have it in like a black and white gingham print. I also wore this the other day uh, to UCLA. I went there for like a really random acting job. So I'm wearing it with the tie. I actually wore it with a belt of mine, which is another great option. Whenever you get a dress that has a little sash that matches it, that comes with the dress, obviously great to wear that with your dress, but you can always take it off and put it somewhere and just choose to style your dress with one of your belts that you already have. And by doing that, you can kind of just add more of an element of styling, break up the you know color of the dress a little bit and just make your outfit look a little bit more thoughtful. This is another piece that if you're, if you're going on vacation to Europe anywhere, this would be a great one to have because you can wear it around sightseeing and you could also possibly dress it up a little bit to go out to dinner at night. So if you're somebody that likes to try to pack smarter and pack light, this would be a great thing to bring with you on really any trip. This in a size medium because I wanted to make sure that the buttons 
down the front, especially in the bust area, had plenty of slack to be able to button and not pull. I feel like a lot of times when I, because I have a larger chest, if I get things in a small that are button, sometimes it's just not quite big enough and the buttons look like they're straining. So I got a medium just to make sure that that was not the case. And it's really no harm, no foul to size up a little bit in this dress just to ensure that you have a little bit of extra room because it does come with this little sash. So you're gonna be tying it in at your waist and cinching it in like that regardless. So even if you have like a little bit extra fabric cause you sized up, it's really not gonna look like you're swimming in it or that it's ill-fitting because you've got the little tie option. Okay, I promised that we were gonna get to my new luggage here at the very end, and y'all, I am so excited about this luggage, but I just wanna preface this section by just giving a little anecdote. I worked on a commercial the other day for a very well-known mainstream luggage brand that I will not name, but you've probably heard of it, and I experienced this luggage inside and out while we were shooting it, and it was okay, probably kind of on par quality-wise with the quince one that I just got, but then when I saw the price of it online, y'all, I was shook how expensive luggage has become. I saw this one. This is my dream carry-on suitcase, and I'm about to tell you why. Let's talk the price. Style from other brands is gonna cost you roughly $500 to $600. This quince bad boy, 159 bucks. A huge savings, and quince keeps their costs down by having lower overhead, smart scaling strategies, and they do careful and research and planning, small batch production, and they use only the best materials in the first place, which keeps the cost to the customer low. They cut out all this BS that isn't necessary in the first place so that you can still get the same high quality without spending an arm and a leg. So I'm gonna bring you guys down to the floor so we can check out all the features of this suitcase. Let's go. The first thing I noticed about this when I started playing with it was how smoothly it rolls and how quiet it is, like on hardwood or um, a hard floor. Um, and that is due to the Japanese designed Hinomoto wheels who have a 360 degree capacity, but they re rolling this just feels like butter. Even this carpet, I feel like it's rolling so nicely, which I have some suitcases where anytime you hit carpet, it's a little bit of a struggle. It's also got a telescopic handle. The handle itself feels so comfortable to grip. And of course it's adjustable to your height. You can go up pretty tall. It's got a TSA lock here on the top of it. But what the reason why I chose this suitcase in particular was because of this front zipper pocket, because I think this is just gonna make traveling so much easier when you have this front pocket that unzips and you can slide your laptop in here, you can slide your iPad, a book. Um, it has all these little zipper compartments in here as well. So you could organize other media related things, maybe for me, like my memory cards, for my cameras, different cords and chargers that I need for various things. And it really just keeps things so nicely organized and it makes it just so easy to access your laptop rather than when you would put it in the actual suitcase itself, you gotta, anytime you wanna get your laptop out, you gotta put your suitcase on the ground, unzip it, grab it out, zip it back up. It's just annoying and I feel like anytime I do that, I'm kind of making a little bit of a spectacle of myself at the airport. So having this front pocket for my laptop, being able to access it that much easier and then stow it away that much easier is going to be a total game changer. Let's get inside of this though, because this seriously has some incredible features inside. I also feel like the zipper feels like it zips so nicely. In the suitcase, you've got a zippered compartment here on the side. Then over here, you have all of this compression stuff, which I've never seen this in suitcases before, but the suitcase brand that I shot for the other day did also have this type of feature. You've got these two buckles that are part of the compression system. This little mesh zippered pocket on the front of this compression divider, I guess is what I'm gonna call it. You can slip in some little things in there for additional storage, which is great. Um, but they have some stuff inside of it, what is there? So it comes with a little magic eraser that you could use in case you get any scuffs on the outside of your hard shell suitcase, which if you use this to check in, could be bound to happen. Even if you don't, you know, things happen when you're traveling. So it's really nice that they include this so you can keep it looking beautiful. A bit of information about the TSA lock and how to set your own combination. We've got this nice big storage area over here, but the other feature about this that I really appreciate is right in this little zipper pouch, you've got a little laundry bag that you can use to put your dirty laundry in. Before I was always hunting down like the plastic laundry bag, 
in the hotel room that they use for like dry cleaning and stuff. But now I don't have to do that anymore because you've got this handy little bag that comes with the suitcase. This suitcase is carry-on size, so you are able to put this in the overhead bin according to TSA specifications. And according to Quince, you can fit six to nine outfits in this carry-on, which I don't know. I'm gonna have to try that out. I'm going on a trip in a couple weeks and this is the suitcase I'm gonna take. I usually always am a big suitcase girly, but I'm trying to get better. So I'm excited to give this a try. Make sure that you stay tuned and subscribe because I will certainly put up a short or something that is about my experience packing and how much I can actually pack into this suitcase. But I'm super pleased. I love the color of it. I think it's really chic. It does come in some other colors like beautiful hunter green, dark blue, navy blue, and I believe like a reddish color. But if you're looking just for well-made suitcases that aren't gonna cost you so much insane money, take the money that you save from your Quint suitcase and use it to go someplace fun with that suitcase. How about that? If you're looking for more great Quince finds for the spring and summer, I have another recent video I will put right up here so you guys can go check that one out next. Definitely have some great pieces in there. Let me know in the comments if you've ever shopped at Quince. I'm really curious what y'all's experiences are. And please subscribe if you're not already. You know you want to. Hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys over here. And if not, I'll see you on the next video. Bye!